In this video I'll explain you how I've made the molds for these parts with the epoxy mold making putty from Easy Composites. Hi everyone, so I got these parts to make a mold of, so these are from my local painter who does all the clear on my parts and he had these in his shop and I thought these shapes were quite interesting and so these shapes are normally used for um, colors and just to try the colors on because you have all the curves you have on a car and so on. So the first thing I did is I've put a bolt through this because there was a hook on it and then I've just attached this attach them with the nuts just to fix them but like the first problem I was seeing is that it was still moving from the back but I thought it was okay so I'll try to fix it with the filleting wax so it's quite a tough wax and I thought it would just just stay like how it should be but so I'm cutting around removing all the excess with a sharp knife but then here I've seen like I've just removed all the bag because everything was moving so like I always show in my videos, this is a flashback because this was the wrong way to do and now I'll show you how I did this in a better way, like for me personally. So maybe you can learn something from it. Maybe if you have other ideas, just put them down in the comments. So I'm laying around the shape and then I'm just pressing in the shape. And now, now I'm able to remove all the excess and I have like a barrier from the inside and outside of the parts. So now I'm just rubbing everything off, so all the excess that I don't, I don't need, so I was quite happy how it looked now. Then I'm using the chemical release agent from Easy Composites, and as you can see it's evaporating quite quickly. So I've just added 5 coats of this, and then I was able to add the first coat. So I'm using the Unimold um, tooling gel coats. Normally there's an epoxy tooling gel coat from Easy Composites as well, but I didn't have it laying around, so I've used this one. So if you want to do this like the proper way, uh, buy the epoxy tooling resin uh, gel coat. So this is another one, but it worked out as well. So the most important thing is you need to stay in the tacky state of the gel coats to apply the epoxy mold making putty on so also known as laminating paste or something like this so I'm just weighing here I'm just making a cup uh, just roughly estimating how much I would need then I just prepare the uh, hardener so the hardener is blue so it's quite good because you can see if you're mixing everything quite well or not and it's just like making a cake so um, you're just mixing it in, you make a little puddle and then you start mixing it around, make some smaller balls and then just um, make it into a big messy paste that is quite well together. So this is probably like the most fun making molds um, I had till now because if you're using just um, the resins and the fiberglass and so on it gets so messy it's smelly and so on so this is epoxy this so the smell is quite okay and uh, it's quite fun to do so I'm just putting everything around making like trying to aim for one and a half centimeters till two centimeters all around the parts I was running quite short on the putty but it's all turned out quite well so this is how it looks like after everything was done so here's a small tip, um, I'm sealing everything with some electrical tape just to make sure there's no moist going in. Then something cool, it's, it's very easy to sand but it also feels a bit brittle. So I wouldn't say these are molds like to make 20-50 pulls out. Uh, these molds were only used twice just to make the positive again and from these two I made more molds. So this is my way of working. So I removed the parts, it was a bit stuck because I didn't. I was too lazy to remove the, the bolt, so I just pulled it all out. Then I, I was finding some trouble to remove the plastic part because it was flexible, I couldn't get it out. I'm using a, an old hotel card to remove it, so this is the biggest trick from the video I guess. So you don't make scratches, you can go around, uh, bend it around the shape and you can just pull it out. So this is the result, it's still a bit messy, but if you clean it all up well, you remove the filleting wax, 
you get something like this. So one negative point of this mold making putty is the cavities behind the gel coat. So this for example was a cavity where the gel coat was very thin and it just punctured through. So I just filled it with some filleting wax just to make the two positive plugs where I was making all the negatives from again. So these molds were made for a workshop I gave. Um, so I made eight of these molds so uh, the students can work on that. So. If you found this video interesting, don't forget to hit the like button, comment, share and subscribe if you want to. And don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and Snapchat as well. See you in the next one.